We're in Casa de Campo in La Romana in the Dominican Republic. Uh, Teeth the Dog is top 100 in the world. It's been that way since it opened in 1971, and it provides a, a wonderful venue for this championship. Uh, it's our third time hosting the Latin American Amateur Championship, uh, and it's, uh, it's an honor to have everyone back. So this is a Pete Dye masterpiece. I mean, as you can see, there's seven ocean front holes. Um, with it being on the coast too, the wind is also a really, really big challenge out here. So it is one of the best golf courses, not only in Latin America, but in all of the world. The golf course is called Teeth of the Dog because when Pete Dye was originally building the golf course, they were building it a lot by hand. And the original name of the golf course was gonna be Cojiles, which means cashew in Spanish but uh, it's not quite as romantic. So one of the workers came up to Pete Dye and said, wow, these, these rocks are sharp like the teeth of the dog, like Diente del Perro. And Pete said, that's the name, Teeth of the Dog. Here, the average fairway width is about 44, 45 yards wide, which is w pretty wide open. And you know, if you compare this to kind of Mayakoba, where we were in 2020, the fairways were only 24, 25 yards wide. So we're almost double the fairway size. So the premium here, it's like for the most part, it's, you know, pretty straightforward driving course, but it's all about the second shot. The green complexes are, are very fun. It offers players the opportunity to use their imagination, maybe some low shots into the hill, some flop shots into these pin locations. Casa de Campo, it's actually set on the side of a hill, and Teeth of the Dog is at the bottom of that hill. So there's a lot of favor towards the sea, but Pete, in his uh, genius when he designed it, there's a few little little subtle hills that'll make the ball go away from the sea. So local course knowledge, preparations uh, leading into the event uh, will really give an advantage to those players. The 14th hole uh, for our championship is one of my favorite holes on Teeth of the Dog. It was the first time I came to Teeth of the Dog and stood up there on that tee, I was in shock. And it's a little peninsula green. It's one of the smallest greens you can imagine standing on with the Caribbean Sea wrapping around the tee, a natural beach, and then obviously encompassing the green. So it really takes someone to step up there, have a lot of confidence, and hit a great shot. For us, using this as the championship back nine, that's the first ocean hole you'll come to on the back nine. And standing on that back tee, it's very intimidating because all you see is ocean. With the wedge in your hand, it's still not an easy yeah. green to hit. So it actually, 14 is actually one of my favorite holes to set up here because over the course of the week, you'll see it play as short as 110, 115 yards and as far back as 170, 175 yards. On a normal prevailing wind, it's actually out of the north, which would push the ball towards the sea. And we have this wonderful bunker uh, surrounding the green, which is lined by a natural rock wall. So if you find yourself in that, in that bunker, you're, you're basically level with the sea, the waves are crashing behind you, and it's just a, an incredible backdrop to play this hole. 2016, we played the routing that the course normally plays for their, for their daily play. Uh, in 2019, since we came back three years later, we wanted to try and reverse the nines. Just with, with doing so, the back nine now had more ocean holes coming in. The two part threes on 14 and 16 are so challenging that it was great to kind of have that as part of it. Uh, we were able to also make 17 a drivable par four, which also provides a lot of fun and entertainment. And for the first time when we did it in 2019, uh, we ended on a par five. So in 19, it was such a success with seeing the winner, uh, Alvaro finish birdie birdie that you know we wanted to keep that same routing and you know we're looking for it to play as long as the weather cooperates a firm and fast golf course which will really hopefully challenge the players this week and hope hopefully identify a uh, a proper champion